Hi, uh, using the new bokeh blur effect in Photo Paint X7 and Dodge and Burn is the tools or features that we're going to use for this one. And we're just going to start with is to duplicate this object here so we can have that as a reference also to show you the various effects I'm going to use. And the first one that I'm actually going to use is Dodge and Burn. So we go down here and go to to dodge and burn there and use custom dodge. You can use any one you want but I'm just going to start with this one here and I'm just going to place myself here shift alt and click and we'll actually highlight this area. There is already a highlight, a light source coming here so I'm just highlighting that, intensifying it a little bit and then I'm just going to drag a little bit soft here as well and I'm also going to if you look at this mouse here, what happens when you use Dodge and Burn is that each time you you release the, the pen or the mouse, um, it will add a new effect of the Dodge and Burn. So now when I've lightened up this one here, I'm releasing and then I'm just going to touch tab a little bit and then I'm going to press one more. So that's actually three times I've been on that one um, already. And then we're just going to highlight or lighten up this area a little bit. And then over the pen here, this is actually a great pen. It says Corelraw X7. It, there's a USB memory here and it's a ball pen. And then I'm just going to lighten up the, the pen box here. I have my, um, my classic traditional pencil here. And I also see this area here. I want to lighten up that a little bit softly. And then this one here. I do this because I want this to kind of come forward a little bit more in the photograph. So I take a couple of details here. I'm not going to take the whole the whole picture. I think that would actually do. We can actually do something over there. Oh no, just forget about that one. So and then I'm just going to do some touching up with the with the whole thing here as well. So let's do that. It is all, and then I'm just going to add a little bit more here. See how it divides itself into two areas where I use the dodge and burn. I'm just going to touch up a little bit there as well because I like that. And then I'm just going to touch a little bit softly here on the stool, on the back of the stool. And if I activate and deactivate, you already see how these areas where I've been at working at is now highlighted. So with that uh, still in in action, so to speak, we're going to go to the mask tool, and there we're going to use the planner mask. So I'm just going to uh, place myself down here, and then we're going to increase the area where the this this area, for example, is where no blur effect will appear. So um, when you drag this up a little bit, and I'm just going to use the coffee cup here and the the edge of the laptop here as a, as a kind of a measurement. I will have to do some additional work on that one. I'll, I'll see that. But and now with that selected, we're going to go to effects, blur, and use the bokeh blur. Click that one. Now you see that I can make uh, additional blur effects here uh, with the feather and everything. But I'm just going to leave it as it is and click OK. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use this one which is remove mask and uh, then I'm just going to click here on the side and then we see now there's a blue uh, there's a blur area here and over here and I don't want that so I want to remove this one here and here and here so I'm just going to use my my um, eraser tool and then I'm just going to choose another another soft edge uh, and then we're just going to erase those areas where there is a blur effect so we're just going to remove that a little quickly and because I have a soft edge on this brush it's easier to keep the the edge of where the blur begins and ends so to speak which is kind of neat and it's very helpful so if I had uh, used a, a hard edge now here it would make uh, most probably a hard edge and it would look quite unnatural. So even though we put on a unnatural effect, so to speak, it's um, 
you still need that natural look in all of it. So I'm just going to remove any of these things that we see happening here and then on, on a cuff cup also. You see already how this plays out. It's going to be really, really nice, neat looking. So we just can keep that as it is. And then that's the effect and that's the work. I see that there's a thing happening over here, so we just can remove that. So we'll just go over here. Uh, let's see uh, if we can use the... Uh, now, where is it now? My One of my favorite touch-up brush. So we're just going to remove that so we don't have any crumbles from the, the cinnamon one that I had just a little while ago. So I'm just going to remove that too. We can leave that as it is, so to speak. So, remember, so now we're actually finished. So in just in a few minutes, we've added bokeh blur and touch up using the dodge and burn. And it's looking quite well. And this is actually often used.